is a Learfield presentation of the Seminole Sports Network. This Leonard Hamilton, here's the voice of the Seminoles, Jeff Colhane. All right, All back, right live back live here, here at Glory, Glory Days in Tallahassee. Tallahassee. Welcome, Welcome in. in. Another, Another edition, edition of Inside Seminole Basketball. Talking all things Florida State hoops over the next hour. It's great to be with you on the TV side on ABC 27 and, of course, on the radio side all across the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. Got a fun show for you planned. Great guests, giveaways, prizes live on site here at Glory Days. And, of course, getting you ready for another big weekend in Florida State basketball. And, as always, it is a pleasure to talk with the legendary head coach himself, the head man. Leonard Hamilton. Big round of applause for Leonard Hamilton, ladies and gentlemen, here with us on site at Glory Days. How are you, Coach? Well, I don't know about the legendary. I like that. I think it, I think it fits. I think it fits well. I don't know about that. Okay. I, I feel you there. How's the week been? It's a, it's a week where we have uh, the, the midweek off, obviously, without a Tuesday or a Wednesday game. And uh, we're getting ready for uh, a game at Louisville on Saturday on the road. Well, what happens this time of year? You have to try to manage your energy and the workload on your players sometimes gets to be overwhelming sometimes, and you need a little break. Mm -hmm. So it come, it's coming at the right time for us. You know, you kind of, all the bumps and bruises that you get, you get a chance to, you know, relax a little bit and take care of them. Uh, we, we obviously uh, uh, gave them Wednesday off. Mm -hmm. uh, we worked Monday and Tuesday. Uh, and tomorrow we'll start focusing on, on, on Louisville. And uh, we... we Obviously, we've been watching them yeah. uh, watch the game, uh, most recent game. And uh, they, <clears throat> they they played some people very, very well. Yeah. And, and each team in the ACC will always have one of those nights uh, where they play lights out. Yeah. And we just got to make sure we don't let that be the one that we played this Saturday. Yeah, in amen, the amen to that. <laughs> I, I hear you there. Coach, what's the fine line as you mentioned, this time of year, we're heading towards, uh, you know, the final full month of the regular season here in February. What's the, the fine line as a coach from uh, practice time, the, the amount of time you go and practice, you talk about, you gave him a little break this week. What's that like maybe compared to a couple of months ago earlier in the season for you? Well, that's one of the biggest challenges for us this year. It seemed like we always rehearse and we always reinforce in some of the things that we've gone over. Uh, early in the year. We're not quite there yet. We still have, a, still have a lot of game slippage. You know, we don't, and so we have some ups and downs, and we try keep trying to smooth things out, and in each game we learn more and more about our team and who we are and what our strengths and weaknesses are. Uh, we still kind of tinkering, mm -hmm. tinkering a little bit with the rotation. We have some, some we have a few guys that we think uh, can play better than what they're playing right now. So we're still working. You know, we're still not taking anything for granted. We want to try to finish the season as strong as we can. Yep, absolutely. Most recent game for Leonard Hamilton Seminoles was this past Saturday in front of a packed house inside the Tucker Center against a really good North Carolina team, third ranked in the country. And the Knowles uh, gave uh, the boys from the Tar Heel State uh, everything that they could handle uh, before uh, UNC made some plays late in that ball game. As you, as you go back to that one, Coach, what'd you learn uh, about your team from that contest? Had a chance to take the lead uh, late in the ball game with the ball in our hands. Well, even though we, you know, we, we, we were up at halftime, mm -hmm. uh, we seem to always have some dips, you know, where we don't, we have two or three um, possessions where we don't quite uh, execute correctly, offensively and defensively. And uh, that seemed to be what has happened to us in, on, in several occasions. We play well enough to win the basketball game, then we have a dip, then we, we try to catch back up and dig out of the hole. We just need to be more consistent in, 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 in what we do, and uh, hopefully uh, we've learned a lot from that game. Yep, four and double figures that game for the Knowles, led by Primo Spears, 15 points. We'll talk about him coming up here in a moment. Jamir Watkins, Darren Green with 12. Chandler Jackson had 10 in that contest. And, we, we talk so much about your guys' energy, uh, your execution. Uh, defensively, you gave Carolina issues. You held them below their, their season scoring average in that contest and forced a season-high 17 turnovers that the Tar Heels committed in that game. I know you talk about some of the dips, but when you were, were, were cooking on the defensive end, uh, talk to me about the execution there and what you saw to your group in that contest. Well, that's the challenge, once again, on the defensive end. You know, we, I thought that we fouled too much. We put them on the free throw line. 
Uh, I didn't think we did a very good job of containing the dribble, uh, and I think we we're more than capable of doing that. Uh, those are the things that concern us, and uh, a lot of it is, is some guys are adjusting to learn how to switch one through five, mm-hmm. and uh, we shading the strong hands of people and making them shoot over you, uh, over length at, at the rim. Those are things we got to get better at, and uh, we don't have very much more time <laughs> to, to get it right. Time now for our truest hero of the game from the Carolina game this past weekend. And uh, a young man that has been a welcome addition to this team. And he's been fantastic ever since we've been able to get him in the uniform wearing the garden and gold. That's one Primo Spears, junior out of Hartford, Connecticut. Led the Knowles in scoring with 15 points. A season high, three threes in the game. Also had three assists in the contest. He didn't play in that first meeting uh, back on December the 2nd, as you and I talked about uh, last week and in our, our pregame conversations. And his his presence in that game obviously added a different dimension with what he can do with the ball in his hands on Saturday, Coach. Well, there's no doubt that he's quick enough to get away from pressure. And I think that they didn't even attempt to full court pressures but one possession. I think we scored on that. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got fouled. Yep. And so we, that's a welcome addition. And he's a, a very good defensive player, uh, has tremendous energy, has great stamina. Uh, he, he, he's definitely bringing a, a very positive skill to our program. Yep, his three-point shooting, too. It, it feels like that's starting to become more of something that's in, in his rhythm, and that's obviously something he's really capable of, knock three even down on Saturday. Well, I, I think that we all on our team, I, that's one of the areas where I've been disappointed in. I think we're pretty good perimeter shooting. Uh, but in order to shoot threes, you have to have a, a, a way of creating those mm-hmm. for the teammates. In other words, it's very difficult to get a wide open, uncontested yeah. three unless someone creates it for you. You do that through ball movement, getting the ball into the post, which is another area we got to get better at. I don't feel like we're getting our post touches as much, and I don't think our guys are doing a very good job posting up as consistent as we like yeah. for them to. But those are areas where, that we got to get better in. Uh, setting the ball screens, rolling to the front of the rim, getting it to the post, and then getting it kicked back out yeah. to some of our perimeter shooters, and then attacking closeouts and getting in, into the lane and then spraying it to people who yeah. are, are, are really good shooters. And there's no doubt that you would love to see all of our players, including Primo, to get more wide open, uncontested mm-hmm. looks. That means the ball has to move a little better. Yep. Primo Spears, our truest hero of the game, truest, the official retail bank of Florida State Athletics, care. It's a total bank changer. See how at truest.com. And, of course, live from Glory Days Grill here in Tallahassee, the home of inside Seminole basketball, Florida State Athletics would like to thank Glory Days Grill for their support of Florida State Hoops. Glory Days Tallahassee, the home of inside Seminole basketball. We've got a great show planned for you. We're going to have some, uh, some trivia during our breaks here at Glory Days. We're giving away some great prizes, some tickets to the Virginia game coming up, not this weekend, but next weekend. On February the 10th, so we'll have some fun doing that. We've got uh, a fan question for Coach. I know you, you get fired. I get to put you on the on the hot seat, Coach. Right? Get a great question coming your way a little bit later on, and we'll of course have some uh, some fun items there uh, as well. Our player guest tonight, Jamir Watkins, will stop by, ladies and gentlemen. He leads the Knolls in scoring, rebounding, assists. And total steals on the season. Not many guys have uh, done that for their team around the country this year. So great show. Just getting started live from Glory Days here in Tallahassee as you're watching on ABC 27 and listening on the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. Welcome back to Inside Seminole Basketball with head coach Leonard Hamilton. All right, we're back on a Wednesday night live from Glory Days Grill here in Tallahassee. Great to be with a bunch of Knowles fans here tonight as we talk all things Florida State basketball over the next hour here of the uh, the show. And here, of course, with the uh, the head man, Leonard Hamilton, always appreciate his time very much as the Knowles get ready for Louisville uh, on Saturday on the road. Saturday, Saturday night, we'll talk about that. Coming up here momentarily, time now for What's on Tap, presented by the official craft beer of Florida State Athletics, Oyster City Brewing Company. Check out the tap room on Gain Street and, of Coach Legacy Lager. Great for any Florida State celebration. Coach, we walked through it a little bit earlier. 
couple of workouts earlier in the week, but now we kind of we turn our attention to Louisville here over the next couple of days and get ready for a, uh, a Cardinals team that we, we know is feisty and they're hungry for a win. There's no doubt about that. Well, they have great tradition <clears throat> at Louisville. Uh, they've been one of the winners programs in the history of college basketball. Great fans. I, I lived in Kentucky now. For, I lived there for, for 12 years yeah. and I watched them grow. Uh, not very much difference between the University of Kentucky and, and Louisville. Great tradition. Uh, they got great fans. Yeah. The, the Yum Center is one of the best basketball venues in the country. Uh, and their fans are extremely knowledgeable and passionate yes. uh, uh, how they feel about their, their, their Cardinals. So we know it's going to be an atmosphere that uh, one of the best in the country. And uh, we know they're going to be playing at their best, you know, trying to all of us trying to find a way to be as competitive as possible, especially as you go into February. Yeah, you mentioned that uh, about the great tradition. Obviously, during your time as an assistant coach at Kentucky, I can't even imagine the the rivalry stories you have back in the day recruiting uh, in the state of Kentucky. And, of course, Louisville and Florida State, old Metro Conference <laughs> foes back in the day as well, Coach. It's a lot of history that, that uh, Florida State fans know about and certainly you know about during your coaching well, career. Well, I watched Denny Crum for a long yeah. time. I got a tremendous amount of respect for him and his, his legacy and how much he really contributed to college basketball. He had a unique way, came uh, to Louisville from UCLA, and uh, he brought a different style, different system, and uh, he set that program on fire. I don't know how many Final Fours he went to, mm. and uh, I know he, he won. I know he won the national championship, I believe, there at Louisville. And but they were household names in in the top at the top of the NCAA tournament for many many years. Yeah, eight Final Four appearances. Wow. Tied for eighth all time Louisville basketball. Three national championships all time as well, as you were talking about with uh, the legacy that Coach Crum uh, had. And uh, it's, a, it's a program under Kenny Payne, who is a Kentucky guy himself, that uh, won a, uh, a, was a player at Louisville, an assistant at Kentucky, that, uh, that knows that area very well. They played last night uh, against Clemson, and they showed tremendous fight no uh, late in the game, didn't no, they? No doubt about it. I, I, just, I just think that they are, are getting better every time I watch them play. Uh, they, they have shooters, they have athletes, uh, uh, they just, they're one of those teams that you know they're going to explode mm -hmm. at any time, but that's the way it is in the ACC. Yeah. It, it doesn't really matter who you're playing. I mean, whether you're at home or whether you're on the road, uh, you, you have, each team has something about them that they're capable of beating you unless you're at your very, very best. That's why you can't take anybody lightly, and you got to be at your very best every time you show up to play. A game in the ACC. Yeah, absolutely. Let, let, Coach, let's talk about your defense. And I, I thought your full court defense on Saturday really gave a Carolina team a lot of issues. You forced them to a couple of timeouts. You got some turnovers off of it. And when you have Bob on the ball, his length causes tremendous issue for the inbounder trying to get the ball inbounds. How'd you feel about your, your guys' full court energy and execution on the defensive end from Saturday? Well, that's part of our, of our, of our defensive system, uh, our, our plans uh, mm -hmm. to the, 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 the create havoc, you know, 94 feet. Uh, and I lead most of the people pick you up ha uh, at half court at, or at the top of the key or they're playing the pack line mm -hmm. uh, type of defense where they, 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 they do more of a contain. Well, it, I've always thought that in order for us to be successful, we need to try to be a little different, sure. you know, and try to bring something different to the table that, that people don't normally prepare for. And, and it's, it's worked real well for us over the years. Obviously, we don't have the, the great wind protectors that we've had in the past, uh, but we believe me, that won't be, that's, that's coming. <laughs> that's coming, that's on the way. That's all, that's but, on the way. But, but right now, we, had ho we hoped that our, our big guys are contain the dribble a little bit better. But yeah. to be very honest with you, Carolina was the better, was the, they played better than us mm -hmm. on Saturday doing for 40 minutes. Right. We had our moments where maybe we outplayed them for 20. Sure. Maybe we might have outplayed them for 25, maybe, maybe even 30. But the most important thing, you got to play for 40 minutes, and you got to play good basketball, make good decisions, not turn the ball over, create for each other, and then be solid defensively too. So for 40 minutes, I have, you have to say that they outplayed us. Yeah. Uh, defensively, I mentioned before, forced them into – a, a tied for a season high, 17 turnovers, sped them up, 11 steals by your guys in that contest, and 
you're able to convert, Coach. You got 26 points off those turnovers as well, which I know puts a smile on your guys' face when you can turn defense into offense and create havoc that way as well. Well, that, that's, that, that shows that we're improving. We're getting better on the defensive end. We can't seem to bring the defense the, the defensive field goal percentage down as okay. much as we'd like for it to. We get the steals, the deflections, or the stops, and and contestants, things like of that nature, but. We're still not getting the, the, the scoring percentages for defensively down somewhere less than yeah. 40, uh, somewhere in that area. People are still shooting a little higher percentage than I would like for is them. That the, is that the on-ball stuff you're talking about, trying to protect that a little bit better than what we are right now, you well, think? I think we, we can do a better job of containing the yeah. dribble and not giving up those, some of those layups. Yeah. Uh, we've been accustomed to having – Rim protectors back there, but that's not who we are this year. Mm -hmm. So we got to do a better job of not get, giving up those angles where people are, are driving and, and finishing at the back at the rim. Yep, Lenoles six and three right now in ACC play, and as we mentioned a moment ago, getting ready to head Saturday to Louisville. Next two games are on the road at Louisville at Boston College. Louisville is an 8 p.m. tip on Saturday night at the Yum Center in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. Boston College is 7 p.m. tip Eastern Time Tuesday night in Chestnut Hill. Hey, as a veteran on business, Carver's Discount Cleaners provides high-quality, dry-cleaning services at affordable prices. Visit one of the three Tallahassee locations for convenient same-day services. Don't get taken to the cleaners. Choose Carver's, as they uh, are the uh, dry-cleaning partner of Inside Seminole Basketball. We'll take a time out, continue on, talk about some of the, the keys of this Florida State team to their success and excellent start in ACC play. When we return, as you're watching here live from Glory Days on ABC 27 and listening on the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. Your extraordinary brain. 86 billion neurons instantaneously communicating cell to cell. As your body's command center, it's the force behind what you see, what you hear, and what you feel. It's what makes you, you. And it's what drives us towards advanced technologies and cutting edge treatments to create the most comprehensive neuroscience program in North Florida and South Georgia. My name is Leslie. My favorite thing about the Grilled Chicken Club is the grilled chicken, like it's actually been on a grill. As soon as you grab it to go take your first bite, it's just like insanely good. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brian, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A mac and cheese is you can taste the different types of cheeses and the blends that they use, and everything just comes together. It's like a delicate dance. They're like perfection in every bite. Nobody can read between the lines. I like people to be honest, not stupid. Like Judge Judy. I still love this job. Weeknights at 7.30 on ABC 27. Count on confidence with certified pre-owned Hondas. Drive knowing your certified pre-owned Honda has a 182-point inspection and comes with 24-7 roadside assistance. Count on certified pre-owned Hondas. Search your local Honda dealer today. Weston Treywick, trusted name in commercial projects, is also the best choice for your home electrical needs. Residential breakers, panels, new and remodel wiring, and GFCI repairs, to name a few. Considering a generator, automatic operation generators require no refueling and are powered directly to your home. Whether you need sales or repair, our priority is quality service at a fair price. Weston Treywick, the best choice for your home electrical needs. Count on confidence with certified pre-owned Hondas. Drive knowing your certified pre-owned Honda has a 182-point inspection and comes with 24-7 roadside assistance. Count on certified pre-owned Hondas. Search your local Honda dealer today. You're dialed in through inside... Jeff Colhane. All right, we are back live at Glory Days Grill here in Tallahassee talking all things Florida State hoops with the head man, Leonard Hamilton, here on a Wednesday night. The Knolls 6-3 in ACC play as we head into the final full month of the regular season in February. Then, of course, into March, wrapping things up prior to the ACC tournament this year in Washington, D.C., and uh, postseason play following that. Coach, uh, going back and looking at some of the things that uh, your group has performed, I 
I tell you what, Chandler Jackson off the bench for you uh, on Saturday felt like he did a really nice job and uh, scored the basketball well for you, 10 points and 4 or 5 from the field shooting it on the offensive end. Well, Chandler's been doing an outstanding job for us, uh, giving us uh, offensive production coming off the bench. Uh, we, we need that. Uh, when you don't have a let up, uh, with your rotation players, uh, that wor that wears on sometimes your opponents, uh, and and that gives them that gives them something to prepare for. Uh, that's that's important because yeah. you 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 come out your your starters get a rest, and now all of a sudden you have another guy coming in and giving you the same level of, of productive mm -hmm. uh, performances. So that's just great for us, and we've always been that we we always try to have. Uh, great production coming off the bench. Yeah. So that keeps us consistent and we don't have the offensive dips as much. Yeah, second game for him in double figures this season. As I mentioned, four or five from the field, uh, knocked down to three to the young man out of Memphis, Tennessee. And he's, when he, you know, he's obviously a guy that, that has handled the ball a lot, has had uh, a point guard role for you, an off guard role for you. Just 11 turnovers, Coach, and 282 minutes played this season from Chandler. Well, it seems like, though, he's getting better when we take the ball out of his hands and he's free a mm -hmm. little bit more to be aggressive offensively. He's still a point guard, uh, but he has, uh, he's been showing the consistency by being able to come into the game and giving us some offensive productivity, and which I think has been very, very important to us as we've gone through some of these tough games. Yeah, big kid too, right? He can, he can get you a bucket in. I think the nice thing about him, there's a lot of things obviously, but He's in traffic and seems as comfortable near the basket as he does along the perimeter when he's got it going. Well, he's a big, strong youngster, and, and he gives us some physicality, uh, and he has uh, the confidence to go in there doing, and doing, doing the games and really, really give us some big points. And he just, he's uh, hard to handle with those big old shoulders. He's got big shoulders. Big, strong body, and he's <laughs> been able to finish after getting the bump so, yeah. and, and, and getting fouled as well. Yep. Uh, another guy that a lot of fans love watching, Coach, uh, Baba Miller, obviously, as he, you see every single game, uh, his confidence grow, and it feels like he's almost learning a thing or two about how good he can be in your system and the way you want him to play on both ends of the floor. Uh, physically, uh, his playing with uh, just a high motor right now, a high level of energy overall. Got to take me through the growth you've seen from Baba this year as he gets kind of his first full season with us, right? With uh, the, the games he gets to play. Well, there's no doubt that he's gaining more confidence. He's shooting the ball for, well from the perimeter, and it's, it's amazing to see. Uh, we call him a uh, what, 6'12". You know? <laughs> he, he didn't. He didn't want to be. A, he didn't want to be called a seven footer. So we. We. I think we kind of feel him a little bit when we say he's 6'11". But uh, but he brings the ball down the court. He pushes it. He's now. He's rebounding. Uh, he, he's contesting those shots. He's blocking shots for us. And when we post him up, he's almost impossible to defend. Yeah. Once you pop. Once you post him up in the lane, with his ability to be able to turn and finish with a soft touch around the basket. So he's really made a major contribution to us on the offensive end, but he's improving on the defensive end as well. It's, it's interesting to see him at 6'12", <laughs> uh, breaking down in the stands and containing the dribble when he's guarding the point guard. Uh, I think that shows a little bit about his versatility. Yeah, no question. It's it's an interesting look, too, when you see somebody at, whether it's 6'1 or 5'11, and then there's Bob at 6'12 uh, out there with a wingspan of about eight feet. It's almost like you got, uh, you know, Inspector Gadget out there playing defense against uh, the opponent. Offensively, his game continuing to, I think he's even learning, right, what his game is all about on the offensive end. Well, there's no doubt that he has... A, a, a tremendous ball handling skills for a guy his size. Now, the, to bring you up to date, he was about 6'2 there, yeah. and, and he had a, a, a growth spurt, and he kept his perimeter skills, and I think that's why you see him being able to do some things that you don't see a lot of 6'12 guys do. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> exactly right. Bob Miller right now leads the Knowles with 22 block shots. He's the second leading rebounder behind our, uh, our, our guest tonight, Jamir Watkins. Bob at 5.2 rebounds per game, 27 offensive rebounds, and 
his free throw shooting has gotten better here, Coach, over the last couple of weeks. He's 11 of his last 16 from well, the line overall. Well, he's concentrating more on it in practice, and he's getting up to the table. And, and as well as he shoots the ball from the perimeter, you would like to think that he probably would yeah. be able to shoot much better from the three-point three line. I mean, sorry, the free throw line. Yeah. But, but that's part of growing and developing confidence, just being able to go up to that line, have confidence that calm yourself down and say, I got to make these free throws. Sometimes that's not as easy as one would think that it is. He's always, he's always in a great mood, it seems like, too. Always <laughs> smiling. Well, always giving everybody a high five. Well, he's not always in a great mood. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Understood. Understood. He's uh, on game day. He's ready. He's, he's happy to play. No, he's, he's, yeah. great, he's a great, great guy. Yeah. A great student athlete. And, and we, 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 he, we're very proud of him. Yeah. Having some fun on Wednesday night with Florida State head man, Leonard Hamilton, live from Glory Days Grill here in Tallahassee. And Vice Star Credit Union here for Knowles fans, ready to help you reach your financial goals and life goals by offering you a better way to bank. We also give back, making the communities we serve stronger. Do good, bank better. Vice Star Credit Union, proud partner of Florida State Athletics. Visit ViceStarCU.org. Go Knowles. Coming up next, Coach's favorite segment is on the way. We got our question from the crowd and a little trivia. For Coach Hamilton, not you don't have to answer the questions for the crowd. We'll, we'll make you do that. That's coming up here live from Glory Days in Tallahassee as you're watching on ABC 27 and listening on the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. <laughs> to Inside Seminole Basketball with Cole Hay. I roll along live from Glory Days Grill in Tallahassee, having some fun on a Wednesday night, talking all things Florida State hoops with head coach Leonard Hamilton. My name is Jeff Colhane. As the Knowles getting ready, heading back on the road in ACC play as we head into the month of February, taking on the Louisville Cardinals on Saturday night. It's an 8 p.m. Eastern tip in, uh, in downtown Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, we're on the air on the radio side, by the way, on seven at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time on the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. All right. You ready to do it? I'm always ready. Yeah, I know you're always ready. <laughs> I can't catch you off guard, Coach. Let's go to Kylie Brennan here with us, of course, our in-venue host in the crowd. Questions for Coach Ham here tonight. Kylie, take it away. What do we got? Yeah, thank you, Jeff. We have Rob Lewis here all the way from Houston, Texas, here to ask some <laughs> questions. Rob, why don't you just go ahead and uh, ask those? So, Coach, I have a uh, two-part question for you um, as it relates to coaching and uh, being a leader amongst young men. My question is, what's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? And to you, why do you consider it the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Well, <clears throat> two things. My mother told me, I always think before you speak. And she said, it's not important that everybody know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so those, those two little tidbits, they have served me well. Because sometimes as coaches, sometimes <laughs> you get a little emotional. And you might say some things that you might regret. <laughs> but I, I think I've done well with maintaining my composure for the most part. <laughs> and what's your second part? Why do you consider it to be the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Because I think as you, it, when you're working with young people and you're working in the public, sometimes you, you have to find, you, you're taking young people at, as teenagers and you urge them into young adulthood. And a lot of time, coaches, youngsters emulate those people who are in authority around them. So I, I, we, we try to not only teach them to, to develop their basketball skills, but, you know, trying to help them become better citizens, neighbors, um, husbands, fathers, neighbors, those things are very important to help to taking teenagers and developing them so they can have a better way of life along with getting their education. So we try to have a, a kind of a family atmosphere uh, where we develop that kind of relationship where we're not only coaching them, but we're helping them grow as well. Fantastic answer, Coach. Thank Very you. good. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate that. Thank you. Great question right there from yeah, great uh, question. Mr. Lewis. I like that. That's an excellent question. Um, you mentioned you've been a mentor for so many during your career. From a coaching perspective, I, I know we t I've talked about this before, you and I, but I always love asking you about it. Mentors for you oh. growing up. And uh, obviously, 
uh, your time at UT Martin, Austin P. I I know Joe B. Hall, uh, a, a huge mentor uh, in, your, in your coaching career early on. Kind of take me through that. Who was special for you that, that steered you uh, and from a coaching standpoint? Well, as a youngster growing up, obviously my father <clears throat> was probably the most influential guy on me, person for me, uh, because he taught me a lot of life lessons. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, he always said, don't let anybody outwork you. Uh, he said, you can't control sometimes the outcome, but you can, con you can control your effort. Yeah. You can, uh, and if you do the very best you can, you, you can live with the outcome as long as you can look yourself in the mirror and say uh, that I did the very best I can. Um, he's, he always told me that your boss, your supervisor, or your coach might make a mistake. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to be successful, he wouldn't allow me to come to him and complain about anything. I could not let nobody outwork me. And I had to give it all I had, every opportunity I had. Yeah. So with those things and not having anybody to go back and complain to, I didn't have any choice <laughs> but to figure out how to be successful. There you go. <laughs> that's, hey, that's, that's solid advice right there from, from your father. Absolutely. Great stuff. Uh, we, we, called him, we call him the Big John Hemp. The Big John Ham. I like that. That's good. The Big John Ham making uh, making the, the, the way. Great advice there, uh, without a doubt. All right, uh, this is uh, an item here on the show that uh, we wanted to have a little bit of fun with, with folks in the crowd. Let everybody know you come on out to Glory Days Grill here in Tallahassee to Inside Seminole Basketball. You can win tickets as well, can win tickets to Florida State Hoops games. And we do have our trivia question. I'm going to ask it here. Live on site, we have somebody that's ready for us. Kyla, who do we have ready for us on site right now? Who we got? Well, we have a proud 2014 alum in Chase Watkins. There we here. go. Absolutely ready All to right. answer this question. I love it. I love it, Mr. Watkins. Great to see you. As always, this is the uh, the question. Four tickets to the UVA game next Saturday is on the line here. Four tickets. All right. Florida State's first win uh, of the season over a ranked opponent came against which team? Was it number 18, Colorado, number 17, Wake Forest, or number 21, Georgia Tech? First ranked win of the season. Chase, what do you got? It was Colorado. Colorado is correct. Four tickets, Chase Watkins getting it done. Look at that. You got a cheering section here. There we go. Congratulations, Chase. There you go. Four tickets. You're going to the UVA game, probably with some of those guys back there. You can pick them, though. That's right. The, uh, the Colorado game. That was a nice springboard early in the season for us way back in November, and Wake Forest was a great win early in ACC play in January. No doubt about that. I, but in, this, in the ACC, to be very honest with you, every game is so important. Yeah. And, and, and that was a big win for us, on a very critical part of the season. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, thanks to, uh, to Chase for being a part of it. Rob, as well, uh, with our uh, question of the coach, to Coach Ham here today on the, uh, the program. Hey, Florida Farm Bureau members get free tickets to select FSU men's basketball games. You get free tickets if you answer trivia right. Coach Ham is going to pick the question next week, I think. We're going to do that next, uh, week. next week. Yes, that's right. We'll get, you, we'll get you one ready to go. <laughs> the Florida Farm Bureau members get free tickets to select FSU men's basketball games. Just visit myffbf.org to sign into your account. Then follow the prompts for attractions and sports and sporting events to get your two free tickets. Tickets offered on a first-come, first-served basis and are subject to availability. Not a Farm Bureau member? Visit myffbf.org and register to become a member today. Florida Farm Bureau Insurance, proud to support FSU Athletics. Coming up next, he's the only man in the ACC leading his team in scoring, rebounding, assists, and total steals. Shamir Watkins joins us at our main table when we come back as you're watching on ABC 27 and listening on the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. Welcome back to Inside and Jeff Colhane. Well, I always enjoy when the uh, the stars of Florida State basketball join us and stop by Inside Seminole Basketball live from Glory Days Grill here in Tallahassee. And man, what a uh, a welcome addition our guest has been to this program here in his first season at FSU. 
Big round of applause, everybody, for Jamir Watkins, ladies and gentlemen. Man, he's been great. He's been so much fun to watch and get to know here in, uh, in your first season here in Tallahassee. Thanks for coming out. First of all, what has this season been like for you? First year here at FSU, and uh, you had a lot of success at your previous stop, obviously, at VCU. Mm -hmm. But, uh, man, it's been a lot of fun watching you play. How, how would you describe it so far? Uh, I'll say we got off to a, a fun start of the year. I feel like we are building bonds with each other, and it's just getting bigger as we go along the season. What's that like as you, as you come in? And, and you, you learn a new, uh, everything's new, right? You learn a new town, a new school, uh, new teammates, friends, a new system, right? Coaching yep. staff overall. What's that challenge like? Because you, you obviously have taken it in stride, Jamir, with what you've done this year. Yo. Uh, I would say it's just fun, just like having, having new um, obstacles to chase and just new things to um, go about life for real. Just finding out something new about about what I can do for him. Yeah, absolutely. How has your game grown, you felt like, here this season? I know early in the year we had, uh, you were you're almost in a point guard role a lot of the time. You had the ball in your hands quite a bit. Now you're able to move some things around, maybe play off the ball a little bit more. And uh, defensively, and you've really honed in. You are, you're a guy that, uh, I don't think people like you, when they see you across from them, I don't think they like seeing you because you're so active and so aggressive on the defensive side. What's, what's that part of it been like for you watching your, your game grow and learning how to play in Coach Ham's system on both sides? Uh, I feel like Coach Ham allows all of us really to play free. So really I'm just going out there playing with a, a clear mind and trying to get better every time I step out there. What's the, how, how would you describe to people playing defense in this, in this system? You start to kind of smile a little bit as I talk about that. I know it's, it's unique in a lot of ways with uh, the aggressiveness, the energy effort. That is, uh, that is utilized for a full 40 minutes. Um, how would you describe what it takes to play defense in this system for this coaching staff and for this team? Uh, so I would say that really every time you step out there, you just got to give it your all on both ends of the floor and just hope that, well, know that the next player coming behind you, coming in, is going to give the same. So we all just give it our all, play hard. That's going to be fun, right? That, that, that trust factor grown, mm -hmm. knowing that, hey, obviously you want to play every minute, right? You want to play all 40 minutes, but it, it's, it's tough to do that yeah. in, in this system. But to know that the guy right behind you, he's just going to, it's like plug and play, right? Yeah. What, what's that excitement as a team like when you guys mesh together and, and make that happen the way you guys have been in ACC play? Uh, I feel like it just makes us want to go harder for just knowing that your brother got, you, got your back and just knowing that if you give your all, he's just going to follow your lead. Yeah. What has been, you feel like, as you talk about, you mentioned the, the group coming together, learning each other. You guys are off to a tremendous start at 6-3 and three in ACC play. You're putting yourself in, in great position with some big games here coming up starting on Saturday night mm -hmm. at Louisville. Um, what's been, you feel like, the most exciting part about how you guys are playing and how you're kind of understanding what it takes to win in this league night in and night out? Uh, I feel like we just continue to uh, follow Coach Ham's plan, mm -hmm. just playing with clear mind, just staying together, and we could get as far as we want for real. Yeah, yeah I tell you what, some of the, the, the things that we've seen from uh, the start of, of ACC play, winning five in a row at 6-3 and three right now, it has been a group that's been a, a lot of fun to watch, that's for sure. Jamir Watkins with us here live on site at Glory Days Grill in Tallahassee. We'll talk to more about Jamir, about who he is and what makes him the player that he is when we come back live from Glory Day. Stay with us as you're watching on ABC 27 and listening on the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. Supported Realtor. Dialed in through inside Seminole basketball. Jeff Colhane. All right, we're dialed in here at Glory Days Grill in Tallahassee, having some fun on a Wednesday night. Welcome back in to Inside Seminole Basketball as you're watching on ABC 27. And if uh, you're listening on the radio audio side, we've got you on the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield or the FSU Game Day app as well. Here with Florida State standout Jamir Watkins, leads the Knowles in scoring, rebounding, assists, and total steals on the season. Uh, one of the, the trivia questions, your career high was last week, just eight days ago at Syracuse. Uh, you were locked in 
Jameer yeah. that night. 27 points in the win on the road over the Orange. He handed Syracuse their first, yes, a round of applause, absolutely, their first home loss and only home loss of the regular season to this point thus far. Uh, that was a game where you were active and energetic. You always are, but, man, you had a, you had a look in your eye that night, that's for sure. Take me through that game, that performance, and uh, how it, how it kind of got going. It looked like you were in the zone that Tuesday night up in uh, central New York. Uh, so I would say that we knew, we knew our uh, defense had to travel because we knew there was undefeated at home coming in, so we knew we was going to face some adversity. And uh, it was just a, a game for me that was close to home, so I had yeah. a lot of people come out, family, and I just played hard for them. You did, and let people know. That game at Syracuse, how many how many friends and family made the trek to watch you play? Uh, at least 18 to 20. There you go. 18 to 20 folks that uh, friends and family for uh, Jamir Watkins came out. Had to have been just a, an absolute joy uh, seeing them. And then to play like that, you sent them home, I'm sure, talking about how proud of you they were, telling great stories. And I saw you afterwards as well, yeah. talking to them, to let people know who you were talking to and how special that was for you last Tuesday night? Uh, so it was very special because I had my, uh, my mom, my aunt, my little sister, cousins, friends. They all just came out to support me for real, and I just put on a show for them, tried my hardest to put on a show, yeah. play hard and go out there for them. You did. You definitely put on a show uh, that night. There's no doubt about that. You played tremendous. You and I have talked about it. Your mom is a very special person to you mm -hmm. and what she uh, did for you, your, your, your sister, your family growing up. Just talk about your mother a little bit. Moms are the best, yep. aren't they? Why, what has what your mom meant to you with everything she sacrificed to get you where you're at today? Uh, I would say my mom, she means the world to me. Uh, all the things that she's done for me and my sister, like sacrificing like things that she loves to do herself, just to put aside that for so me and my sister to chase our dreams, it, she just means the world to me for real. Yeah, that's, that's really special stuff. And... Your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food, uh, I'll say spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti, right? Yep. Mom's lasagna? Yeah. We are talking, she have a special, special recipe? Yeah. She puts that together? Can't give that away, though, yeah. right? Can't give that away? Okay, we won't, we won't <laughs> give that away here uh, on the show. All right, you're getting ready for Louisville on Saturday night. Kind of take me through the next couple of days, Jameer, and the preparation and how, how tough it is going back on the road, winning an ACC play. What's big coming up and, and getting ready here? Uh, I would say what's big is just us staying um, poised, having a clear mind going into these practices, just going hard, competing with each other so that we can make the game easier for ourselves. Yeah, can't wait to see it. Can't wait to go out and watch you play. And it's been fun watching you here to this point. All the best this weekend and throughout the rest of the season as well. We appreciate your time. Yep, appreciate there you. There you go. That's John Muir Watkins, ladies and gentlemen. He's been a star for this Florida State basketball team. Leading the Knowles in scoring, rebounding, assists, and total steals on the season. No other player in the ACC has done that for their basketball team in those categories here so far this year. Hey, did you know that reading one text while driving takes your eyes off the road for about five seconds at 55 miles per hour? That's like driving the length of a basketball court with your eyes closed. Put your phone down and set aside all distractions. Don't drive distracted. Arrive alive. Brought to you by the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles. When we return, the head coach rejoins us, Leonard Hamilton. We'll talk keys to success at Louisville this upcoming weekend. That's on the way as you're watching on ABC 27 and listening on the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. to Inside Seminole Basketball with head coach Leonard Hamilton. Here again, Jeff Colhane. Tallahassee, big thanks to Jamier Watkins stopping by, spending some time with us. And coach, that's been a, a young man. Man, he's a, one heck of a welcome addition, I know, to your program. And just like everybody else, continuing to grow and, and get better and, and play in your guys' system with his uh, skill set has been uh, pretty versatile to have that addition. Well, as, as well as... Jamir. <laughs> I, I mess it up all the time. Well, like I said, it's but, easier to say quicker when you're practice when you got to get, get his attention. But uh, as well as he's doing from a statistical standpoint, I still think he has a lot more room for improvement. I've been very pleased with, with what he's done up to this point, but I think as he gets more and more familiar with how we play, mm -hmm. you know, uh, nonstop, uh, uh, 
fill in the lanes. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, he, he, he's, he checks all the boxes. And I just think that he's on the scratch the surface uh, how well he can perform, especially in a program that gives him the freedom that we give him within, within our system. Yeah, and, I, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but defensively, it even seems like game by game, he's, he's continuing to understand what it takes, but also when he's on the ball, and, and he's got such quick hands that it really feels like he's able to be a big disruptor for you, even out near the, the midline, that far away from the basket. Jamir. Jamir. <laughs> <laughs> he, has good, he has good instincts. Yep. You know, he has a great feel for when to break on the ball. And then he's been running uh, plays down and blocking shots. You know, we, that's why we need to give a guy like him as much rest as possible because, you know, he, he expends a lot of energy. You know, and, and so we, we've, we can't say enough about how much he's meant to our program this year. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun watching, uh, watching Jamir Watkins uh, grow and uh, be a, a huge piece of the puzzle for Leonard Hamilton's Florida State basketball team. Hey, time now for our keys to success brought to you by Scott & Wallace, the official law firm of Florida State Athletics. Scott & Wallace with offices in Tallahassee. Coach, uh, the next couple of days, I know very important in preparation no matter where you're playing, who you're playing, what the records are, it's always hard to win on the road in ACC play. It's going to take a high level of focus. I know once again going to Louisville and, and, and to have that success here this weekend. Well, we've we got two games on the road, and we definitely need to win. Road victories are important uh, as, as you if they start adding up points, whatever they are yeah, <laughs> yes. at the end of the season, start with Louisville. Uh, we, we know every team you will, will have one of those nights where they're really shooting the ball well, that they're creating off the dribble, or they get the crowd gets behind them and they give exceptional energy. Uh, that's, that's just what happens every year. So we have to find a way to be consistent with our defense, be solid, not give them anything easy, try to stay out of foul trouble, and hold, hold them down to a, a lower field goal percentage uh, than we've had some of our, our most recent opponents. Uh, I saw last night in their, their game against Clemson, they were plus 19 on the glass against a Clemson team. I know you have a lot of respect for with their physicality and the way they play. That, that's, well, that's an eye-popping stat right there from them. That just says a lot about their athleticism. More than anything else, though, their focus. Yeah. And the rebound is the focus. You either block somebody out and you go to the boys, to the offensive boys, and try to, you know, try to be aggressive. And that's been one of our weaknesses this year. And hopefully we'll be focused enough to, to, to try to find a way to neutralize Louisville on Saturday. Your defense, it feels like, has traveled for you this yeah. season. Successfully on the road in ACC play. Wins at Miami. Wins at Syracuse. Uh, I know you're, you're really wanting to see that again uh, these next two games. Well, there's no doubt that we'll improve. We're getting better in those areas. Um, we, we, we just got to be more consistent. Uh, with that in that area because rebounding, you know, is very, very important. It takes a lot of focus and toughness. Mm -hmm. Coach, final thoughts? I know, uh, again, I know we're not playing at home this weekend, but you were, uh, I know, so excited about the crowd we had on Saturday yes. and what uh, the fans have shown you throughout the year with support. Our fans have been very consistent through the years. There's no doubt about that, especially this weekend. They played a major part uh, in helping us in that game. There were times when we were in the huddle and couldn't hear each other talking. Wow. Let alone talking to them while they're on the basketball court. Yeah. It was hard to get a player's attention. The, the fans were, they were fantastic. Yeah. And hopefully we could get, give them something more to cheer about as, uh, this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Coach, appreciate your time as always, and we'll see you on the play. Thank you. There you go. It's the head coach, Leonard Hamilton. My name is Jeff Colhane. Big thanks to Shamir Watkins as well. Thanks, everybody, for coming out to Glory Days Grill in Tallahassee.